Hello, my name is Koi from Ray of Gratitude. I am the creator and I am here to do a chakra reading. I just want to first say shout out to my Patreons. Thank you for those that have um, participated and showed up. Um, those that aren't, please check out my Patreon page. It is patreon.com slash Koi. Q-U-O-Y. The link is in the message below. And um, for more free content, you know, on a lot of things that I do, my services, my products, and other energy readings, you can definitely tune in to um, YouTube or Instagram. Facebook, I do have some things on there, but I'm mainly <laughs> on Instagram and um, YouTube. So if you're feeling the vibe, please subscribe. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to jump on just to let you kind of know. So, if you're aware of chakras, you should kind of already have a feel of what this is about, right? Um, I like to talk about the main energy that is around each month, um, which chakra to focus on. This is my way that I like to educate, um, start conversations, as well as, um, put you guys... You know, it, we're all needing to align our energy and center and just be aware of our energy. Um, no, we're not going to be centered and aligned 100%. It just doesn't happen that way. But the more we're aware of our energy, the more we're in tune with our chakras and other things that are going on within our body, within our aura, you know, within our mental, um, it makes it a lot easier to understand our whole being. Um, I love to talk about holistic healing um, because that is what my create, creative healing does. Um, we, we see things from uh, mentally, physically, emotionally, and of course, spiritually. So without further ado, let's get into this chakra reading, all right? Okay, so I already picked the cards as you see. Um, so it won't have to be like too long, right? And so we have, we're focusing on this crown chakra this month here. And this is about recovery, which clearly you can see here that it's like a door is opening and this spirit, this, um, you know, whatever you want to call this entity, whatever you want to call, right, is giving you a key. And for me, it's more about giving you a key. It's unlocking a key, a memory, or just energy within your mind. And your crown chakra really helps you tap into the divine. This is like, wow, really a spiritual one right off the back here. The crown does talk about spirituality. The crown is all about becoming more connected with your inner divine, as well as your... Um, connection to the divine and things that help you become more aligned, help you with your imagination, your creativity, and just answers, um, understandings, revelations, epiphanies from spirit. Um, yeah, that's the top one that's located at the crown of your head. Um, there are many chakras, but we're going to focus on the main seven, okay? And right here, this is an outside factor that is causing imbalance. Now, I don't know if anyone is partnered up. This is the lovers, and I know that a lot of people, especially in tarot, they're like, oh, lovers. But this also, to me, is about not only love of other people, but love of yourself. This could also be soulmate, you know, um, twin flames, you know, like, I know that is like a triggering word for better or worse, but, um, these, the lovers, right, this card definitely is, most definitely when I saw this, I thought of masculine and feminine energy, and when you're talking about the crown chakra, it's really about the divine masculine energy, the divine feminine energy, and guess what, folks, we all have that within ourselves. Yes, I am a female. I do consider myself a female. My pronouns are a she and her. But um, I do have masculine energy in me as well. Just like a male that may have pronouns as um, him or uh, 
you know, pronouns like that. <laughs> they also have feminine energy. And there's ways that we tap into that. Um, you know, the inside factor that you don't really get what's going on, though, is a death and rebirth here. This is a phoenix um, rising from the ashes. There are a lot becoming awakened, especially when you have this crown chakra. Like I was saying, you're being more in tune to the divine. You're getting messages. You're understanding the signs. Or you might not be understanding the signs. It depends um, which way you look at it, right? Um, but for those that are understanding and trying to understand, there is a calling here for the old things to die, the old things that no longer serve you. My candle is going <laughs> crazy and really letting go, shedding the past, you know, shedding the crap that held you down and really flying free, spreading those wings. For those that don't really understand what's going on and but you're getting like a lot of epiphanies you know you're getting a lot of things that are like aha hmm interesting you know maybe visually or um maybe you might be hearing you know it, it's just certain things through songs it really depends how you look in and how deep that you are in tune with your own spirit. But one thing for sure, self-care, like I was saying, that self-love. Um, because we have here, you know, there's a little bit, there's going to be some offering that can help you. You know, of course this is a general reading, but I feel that those that are watching this, like, I feel that, like, <laughs> it's been a hard road, you know, for all of us, right? And I feel that there are a lot of new things coming into your horizon, but you may miss it if you don't um, heighten your vibrations. If you continue to stay low in those ashes, you're not going to see anything. But if you can rise above that, you'll be able to see things. Let's clarify. I just want to clarify the lovers. Let's clarify the lovers here. So this may be some, <laughs> you may be getting some um, emotional fulfillment through work or something just very tangible, you know, because we have the Prince of Cups. Something that has taken a very long time um, is going to come to the surface. And, you know, one thing I can say about um, ways that can get you into alignment is definitely finding a routine, finding something that you can practice um, something that's very practical, you know, um, that can be grounding to your energy, but yet satisfying and lifting up your energy. Um, one easy way is through dance. Um, excuse me. So the inner factor here is that, you know, I think a lot of us, honestly, too, if you've been going through the same routine, like a lot of us are honestly bored or like lonely, you know, and you may have had a recent breakup. Um, you may be looking at other people that looks like they're having fun, but they're really not. You know, or maybe they are, but it, it's it's time for you to let go of, like, toxic cycles. Let go of things that just have you spinning in circles all the time. It's really time to let that go. Because one thing for sure, if people aren't showing up and understanding your own worth and your own value, then it's like you're kind of wasting your time um, spending them with, like, why? It's, it's almost like talking to a brick wall, you know what I mean? Like, does the brick wall hear what you're really trying to say? Do they understand it or do they care? Eh, you know, it's not fulfilling anymore. Um, you want that happiness, you want that abundance, you want that um, fleeting feeling, um, well not fleeting feeling, but you want something substantial that makes you feel like, woo woo woo, <laughs> that makes your heart feel warm, alright? And as soon as you can shed the dead skin, the old energy, 
and emotional fulfillment may come in hey maybe even a new partner may come in i don't know this is a general reading of course but i do think that something that you guys have been working on you know um i just did a reading the other day and it was talking about again like this energy is coming up a lot of us have been really trying to cultivate something new really trying to work on ourselves work on other things but it feels that we may be pushed back or just things aren't really prospering the way at the rate or the way that you want it. And when that happens, a lot of times it's best for you to take a chill pill, um, sit down, relax. And that's the first thing to do for self-care is really listen to yourself. Because the more that you listen to yourself, the more your spirit will show up and say, hey, this isn't... Mm -mm, this. Okay, sorry about that, my camcorder I had cut off. But I think that it's a time to really pay attention to the signs, pay attention to the recurring events that may be happening, and really ask yourself, do I want to keep going in circles? No. Sit down, take a rest. And really be open to receive. Receive from spirit. Receive your thoughts that you're paying attention to. And really understand what needs to be let go. Because a lot of things have been holding us back emotionally. Which is very draining. Very draining. So, um, let's see. So I made these cards. And, um... We're going to talk about the self-care a little bit more on ways, action cards, just to see what, what self-care you need to know. Okay, so <laughs> what's the best decision at this moment? Everything is now what it seems. And out with the old, in with the new. That is hilarious. So really, really, really ask yourself, like, what is the best decision at this moment, at this present time? Because we don't need to be um, looking at the past um, too hard, you know? If you're thinking about things from the past, think about what has been repeating from the past. Because that's your link to let that go and really fly high where you need to because it's been a long time coming and who wouldn't want this ace of cups this is emotional fulfillment here you know but you can't really drink nobody wants to drink out of an, a cup with old water either you know so chuck that and start filling your cup with new emotion new ideas new energy let's see what we have for the affirmation here what do we have for the affirmation okay right. oh this is upside down <laughs> self love can heal the deepest wounds and in order to see the deeper wounds, you have to look within, right? And figure out what experience was not serving your heart. What experience didn't feel like love? Because a lot of things will start matching up and linking up. And then you'll be like, hmm. I had to pop on here because my camera started acting up. And one thing that I know that I learned... I've had so many technical difficulties. I remember last year, it seemed like every time I wanted to do Monday Motivation, my camera started messing up. And it would aggravate me like I don't know what. But this is the thing that I want to say too. Um, the more care, the more self-love that you have, you know, um, the more you'll be like, okay, I have this idea now. Or, all right, I can do this now. Because you'll feel more comforted within your own self. You'll get to know yourself more. And, you know, some things definitely just don't die down. Like computers, when they start acting up, I don't think all the self-love in the world, I don't think that I still wouldn't get agitated. I still will get agitated. But I know that it won't 
make me like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? This is devastating. No, I know how to calm down. I know how to regroup and recenter my energy and be like, hmm, what else can I do? Or maybe this is a sign that I need to chill out and not be recording this, you know? So <laughs> one of the two. But um, I figured, you know, if one camera doesn't work, another does. And this is the thing, breaking other cycles that have not been serving a purpose in our lives, especially not in a place that doesn't come from love. If it feels like it's diminishing your soul, if it feels like it is causing you anxiety, if it feels like it's ripping your heart out, I don't think that's for you. I think that energy will weigh you down. So self-care, take time to reflect because we have this um, crown chakra. And when we're talking about the crown chakra and we're talking about energy of ideas and information and intuition and imagination, it's definitely best to um, meditate, sit still, um, and be able to listen. You know, nature is always the best way. Um, going by water, going in the earth, sand or anything. I don't like walking on grass barefoot. I honestly don't. But sand, I, I'll do that. <laughs> um, and taking time to like write. You know, if you're not that type of person that self, um, that has a journal and whatnot, write down certain things, certain tasks that are best for you. Because, um, or write down just the ideas, you know, dreams and goals that are um, really popping in your head because they're going to serve a better purpose when everything starts coming together. So that is all for the chakra reading. Um, take a look at the chakra meditation that I um, am going to be posting. And um, really just take some time to reflect and relax because anxiety is the total opposite of you know that's more of a closed crown chakra you don't want any anxiety you don't want any fear messing with your mind you want to feel at ease and feel open all right so thank you again for coming through and watching this please comment if this resonates i'd love to hear from you guys this is a space that is allowing me to really get to know you guys and um converse like i want to talk about self-healing self-help um and energy because this is what i love to do um and it's time to create new um i don't know every time i start rhyming for me the clue is to get off <laughs> so check out check me out next time look on um, forward to new things that i post and um next month's chakra reading See you later. Peace.